Welcome back to my channel. It's Marie here. I think we're going to stick with Marie for a while if you saw my update video a couple videos back. But today I wanted to come on and just share my horror movie collection that I've done over the years just to kind of kickstart, I don't know, the Halloween vibes to get in the spirit. It's Halloween all year around here and even though I've been missing on the YouTube does not mean that in my everyday life I don't still celebrate Halloween in some way because it's not just one day here it's all year so never mind my hair you guys it's in a crazy bun today is laundry day so as soon as I wrap up filming this video I'm going to do some laundry so to start, we got a little pumpkin over here, oh. and then this photo right here, I know it's really out of place. We're still trying to find the right spot for it in our living room. I hate this little fuzzball that comes out. But to start, I have my sun's out, guts out video, oh, not video, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre shirt. I, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, sorry, I'm just adjusting, is one of my favorite favorite horror movies. Mike Myers, you know, Michael Myers, the Halloween series is number one, but I also love like the grittiness of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I also grew up in Texas and so Texas Chainsaw Massacre has a little bit more of a, uh, I don't know, a relatable, not relatable. Like I just, it's, uh, it's, you know, if, if a film or a show is, is from your area, you kind of, I don't know. It, you connect with it more? I don't know. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm trying not to rush through these videos. Also, just I'm like, I'm, I'm hoping I don't run out of storage. But anyway, I really just kind of want to chill and show you guys my collection. It's in no particular order. But this is what it is. I can't remember if I've done this video before. So we'll just have fun. We'll just talk about movies and... I'm trying to decide if I want to do like a a summer challenge, you know, starting in June or something and like watch a movie, like watch a horror movie every day. I'm thinking, I'm trying to think, like I want to go through this list here maybe and watch all of these. I really like the feel of watching like a DVD uh, or a VHS tape. I don't have a VHS um, I have some incense going and so I'm having a hard time breathing. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm struggling over my words, but yeah, I might start a, a challenge and, uh, kind of like go through my videos, watch, you know, I have a pretty good selection here, so maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll go through the collection here and then... I don't know, do a series on that where I just talk about the video. I really want to. I really want to grow this channel. I really want to focus on it. I really want I really want to get to a thousand subscribers. I've been working on that forever. Except my consistency has been crap and so so I apologize for that. Hopefully I'm I'm feeling like I'm starting to feel like myself again, which is amazing and yeah, I just, I'm excited. I, so I'm just, ah, it's my thoughts are all over the place, but uh, oh my God, I just ripped my earring out. <laughs> oh my God, let's put that back in. So yeah, so grab a, grab a snack, grab, um, yeah, grab a snack, grab a drink and let's sit down and let's, let's go through this list because I haven't looked at these, these in a while. I went through a... There was a, there was like during, oh, when was it? It was like 2021 or, or 2020. Like I would go to the mall and I would just like grab a bunch of horror movies and like they were on, on clearance 
and just buy them. And so I don't really know what I got. So we'll go through these and some I know, some I don't. So let's go. So to kickstart off the list, I've got, I'm sure most of you horror fans out there have seen it on Netflix, the new series, but we have The House on Haunted Hill. This one stars Carol Omart, Vincent Price, and Alicia Cook Jr. Hmm. So yeah, this is the doors are locked at midnight. Love Vincent Price, so I'm going to have to watch this one. Like I said, this is in no particular order. Some of them are still in its plastic wrapping. Uh, I believe I got this one for Christmas. And it is called Crawl. I think this one came out of the Walmart bin. It says, it's got Sam Raimi and Alexandra, I'm going to say this wrong, so somebody correct me below. Uh, Aha or Aja, it's, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to do this like a freaking phone to make it bigger. You can see it on the back. Yeah, I can't really read. But it says if the storm doesn't get you, they will. Right. Then we have, oh, I love Rob Zombie. Okay. So we have... 31. I love this one. So it's on Halloween, five carnival employees are kidnapped and held hostage. I cannot read. Oh, held hostage, hostage in an isolated compound known as Murder World. They are thrown into a sadistic game called 31 where they must survive 12 hours against a gang of maniacs dressed like clowns. However, the clowns aren't the only ones that they need to worry about. A grand scheme of satanic rituals and much more sadistic plot awakens. So that's 31. Then we, ha ah, then we have scary stories to tell in the dark. This literally, this series of the books... I used to go and check out at the library at school back when I was a kid. Horror has always been like a part of my just my DNA, I guess you could say. I remember I would check this out and like recheck it out every time. That and Super Fudge. <laughs> I like it all. But really scary stories to tell in the dark. So whenever they made this movie, it was just just amazing. I love I love this one. Then we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I love this. It's like a it's like a tin cover. Oops. And then this one it's got two videos. It's got the movie and then a bonus disc. So is this oh no it fell out. I thought it was falling out. Okay. Let me just tear it up. It's, oh, this is broken. Okay. Look at the inside. That's super cool. All right. And then we've got the Nightmare on Elm Street collection. So this is a whole thing. There's eight films in here. And I haven't, have I opened it? No, I haven't opened it yet. I literally just did the Jason sound, but in my head it has the the Michael Myers or the oh my god, and had the Freddy theme in my head. But then we have Halloween. It's another Rob Zombie. I love his version of this. I love. I just. I think what I love about Rob Zombie's flicks is it has that very gritty. I'm sorry, that very grittiness to it, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre does. does. Um, so I really love that new, like, not, it's not a new, I'm sorry. I, my brain went to the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which doesn't really have that grittiness to it, but the originals had that grit to it. Okay, and then we have The Descent. I 
can't remember if I've seen this one or not. I think I have, but I can't quite remember. So the Descent. And every millennial's favorite in Gen X. This movie, if this movie taught you anything, if it taught us anything, it is that if you see a log truck on the highway, don't, don't drive behind it. Like, get over into the other lane. Like, don't, don't drive behind it. Like, just don't. So, you know, when you're driving on the highway, you'll know who has seen Final Destination when there's a log truck and nobody behind it and everyone is in the other lane. <laughs> All right. And then we have another version of House on Haunted Hill. I think this one came out in the 90s. Yep. 1999. So if you love the 90s and you love House on Haunted Hill, this one. I don't know. I haven't seen this version. Like I said, I grabbed a bunch of these DVDs and just bought them to add to my collection. And then we have, uh, this is amazing. This is one of my favorites from back in the day, Candyman. I still haven't opened it. But just like Bloody Mary and Beetlejuice, this is also a name that you don't say three times in a mirror. <laughs> and then we have Creep Show. Always a fan favorite. All right, and then we have Wicked Little Things. I don't think I've seen this one either. I've been really, really busy and haven't had a chance to really watch anything. Oh, oh, here's the other Final, Fest, Final Destination. My other favorite series is The Conjuring. I don't know why I haven't opened this one up. I think because this one's just been on like Netflix and Hulu. Oops. Hocus Pocus, which is not a horror movie, but it's a Halloween movie, right? So I might do a video just on like kid friendly, family friendly, family friendly Halloween movies too. So, but this is in my collection because it's Halloween themed. No. And I haven't opened it yet either because this one's always available on streaming services. Same with Rocky Horror Picture Show. Love, love, love Rocky Horror Picture Show. Every time I hear Time Warp, I will stop whatever I'm doing and do the dance. Another one is one of my favorite, the original Stephen King's It. This had Jonathan Brandis in it and... It also had, um, I'm absolutely, hold on, let me, oh, John Ritter. Okay. Hansel and Gretel. It's not really a horror, but it is in the Halloween genre. Plus, I love Jeremy Renner. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And as you can see, it's one of those discounted ones because it's the black and white. Like, it's just a printed paper. <gasps> oh, we have a nun. If you follow me on TikTok, you will have seen. Um, I'm working on her character or this, this character. I have the contacts, but this is one of my favorite characters to do that I'm like building up. And then we have another Rob Zombie, The House of a Thousand Corpses. And then we have the original Halloween. Mm, I love it. And then we have Halloween H2O. And then we have Halloween 2 and Halloween 3. What are your thoughts on Halloween 3? What are your thoughts on that one? Um, I have thoughts on it. And I, it's not my favorite. Only because I thought it was another... Like, I thought it was going to be about... This, like, the, the origin story of how Michael Myers became... Basically, um, like, how he could never die. 
I thought it was a story behind that, but it, it's not. Had it been like its own thing, I think I would have liked it a lot more. And uh, maybe I will start to watch it as though it's separate because it's not even in the same universe as Michael Myers. Because in the movie, it has Michael My like a like the trailer for Halloween, and so that threw me a bit. And I had only just recently seen it, so that's that's also why. So I kind of went into it, and I was like super disappointed. Okay, and then we have. Paranorman. Love Paranorman. Love Paranorman. I'm going to put this in my collection here. I'm actually going to start doing this collection really quick for kid-friendly horror movies. Okay. And then we have... Oh, I love Pet Cemetery. You guys, I had one of the biggest crushes on Eddie Furlong back in the day. Mm. Yeah. I have a, oh, check it out. I didn't realize. Okay, so I have Rosemary's Baby. The history behind this, too, I just love it. Like, I love that like, there's a, 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 a connection with, like, Sharon Tate with this. Um, and then that American Horror Story was semi, semi loosely based on Rosemary's Baby as well. So... Uh, delicate, sorry, American Horror Story, delicate. All right, then we have The Exorcist. It's a cold classic. Arr! Probably should not stuck it like that. Okay, and then we have. I haven't seen. Have I seen this one? I haven't seen this one yet. It's called The Orphanage. But it's by Guillermo del Toro, so you know it's going to be good. Then we have The Quiet Place. This one was so good. John Krasinski is amazing. Freaking amazing. And Emily Blunt. Hello, Emily Blunt. And then I just, I don't know why this is not open. Oh, it's not open because I ended up finding it on, I think it was either Netflix or Amazon Prime, but, or Amazon Video. But Jack in the Box. This is actually, this is actually a pretty good movie. It's not too bad. And then again, we have Final Destination 2. Like I said, it's in no particular order. It has a name on it, but it's, <laughs> so we'll block that out because I don't know who that is. Um, this is a clearance one that I found as well. Okay, and then of course we have The Shining. And if you live in Montana or if you ever get a chance to go to Glacier National Park, the opening scene where they're driving up to the Overlook Hotel, uh, that long winding road, that is the going to the sun road in Glacier National Park. All right. And then we have this stand. I think I'm about to knock over my... Okay, and then we have The Exorcism of Emily Rose, and oh, let me see, I forget her name, Laura Linney, no, I'm sorry, not Laura Linney, <laughs> why does it not have her name in it? Hold on one second, her name is, because I completely forget, uh, I think it's Jennifer Carpenter, I believe that's her name, but if you watch Dexter, um, the girl that plays Emily Rose uh, is played by her, and uh, it's Dexter's sister from, from Dexter, the TV show. All right, and then we have Dahmer with Jeremy Renner. Really good. This was a really, he played a really good Dahmer. I think anyone who's played Dahmer has done a really good job. And then we have um, Ross Lynch, who played a younger um, Dahmer. And then we have Evan Peters, who chef's kiss. Maybe it's just because I love Evan Peters so much. We're birthday twinsies. Woo -woo! But uh, maybe just because I love it. But he really did a phenomenal job as, as Dahmer. So 
I know there was a lot of controversy behind the series, but him as the character, like him getting into the role, um, the whole cast, the whole cast was just great. And then we have another one of my favorites. We're down to the last two. Well, we have Carrie, the original Carrie with Sissy Spacek. I love this movie so much. I was reading the book, but I'm like halfway through the book. Wait a minute. This is not the original. Ah, this is not the original. This is the new one. Why don't I have Carrie the original? Yeah, this is not the original. Yeah, no. This has Angela uh, Batiste Betis and Patricia Clarkson. Yeah. But this one, I have Carrie. The original Carrie, though, is my favorite. Like I said, I just grabbed a bunch of these. They're, you know, horror movies. They're in the genre, and I want to see them. And I think I've seen this one. I can't quite remember. It looks like it has Joey Keys. Joey No. Hold on. The girl in the back here looks like Joey King, but I can barely see. But this girl right here looks like, uh, it's too blurry, but she looks like Joey King in this photo. All right. And last but not least, Friday the 13th series. It's an eight movie collect <clears throat> collection as well. All right. Well, that, you guys. All right, guys. Well, that wraps it up. Those are my horror movies. Those That is my collection. I do want to add on to that. I may have more that I just didn't see as I was grabbing them, but yeah. So I think that when I'm going to make a video just on like kid-friendly horror movies, um, or like spooky movies to watch during Halloween. Or if you just are a Halloween, you just love Halloween all year and you want to watch maybe not some, some scary horror movies, but, um, just some Halloween themed movies. Um, I think, I think I might do that as well. I only have a couple, but I, I do plan on building my collection in general. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video, this little vlog, this little, list whatnot of horror movies and tell me uh, comment below what is your favorite horror movie what is your favorite if you don't like necessarily guts and, and like uh, violence like that type of horror movie or you're not really into the paranormal like you but you just have a favorite fall-esque movie comment below what what is your favorite movie to watch that gets you into the Halloween spirit. I would love, I would love to hear it. All right, guys. Well, have a great day. Stay spooky. And until next time, see ya. Bye. <laughs>